All right, we're going to try to do this in one shot. But um, NVIDIA Shadow Play, uh, how to get it to work with voice meter, how to do all that fun stuff. But uh, it'll also, this information could probably transfer over to Metal TV. Uh, also, the Radeon one, I don't know what it's called. Overwolf, maybe. I, I'm not really familiar with those, but the information still applies. It works the same way. Um, I'm going to switch this. I'm not going to overwhelm you with what I have going on because our setups are going to be different and stuff. So, um, so yeah, give me like two seconds. I'm going to open up Banana. Yeah. All right, get my mic somewhat to the same as it was but um you can see there i just opened up banana literally reset the settings uh selector a1 uh start with wdm if that doesn't work go to ks if that doesn't work go to mme simple as that um pick my mic here wdm that's totally fine you don't have to do the whole switching between them right click to rename uh these are just some pretty basic settings that usually I run on my mic. Uh, let's do one of these. And then usually you won't end up using this third one. You might use the second one. So if you understand potato, then you'll f definitely understand banana. So that's why I'm not going to probably do this on potato. But yeah. So first things first, I have it up here, uh, set up voice meter, do the crackling fix. So we're going to go over to the sounds and we're going to open this. If you're on Windows 11, what you're going to do is press Windows R and you're going to open up the run box and you're going to type in mmsys.cpl and press OK. It will open this again. You're going to go to the recording tab and you're going to scroll all the way down. And you're going to do all the voice meter devices that you see, cables if you got them. You're going to right click on it, properties, advanced, and you're going to change it to two channel, 24 bit, 48,000. I don't care what your mic is, change it to this, no matter what. Um, there is, yeah, I'm not even going to say the rest of that. So just 24, 24 bit, 48,000, two channel. Do that, press OK. Do that for all the other ones. Um, that are related to voice meter. You don't have to, I mean, if your mic isn't already at 48,000, then you can change it. If it doesn't go up to 48,000, that's fine. Leave it at whatever it's at. Works for me. Um, once you're done with that, move on to the second step. That is to separate audio. We are going to find things. Um, so for most people, they get shadow play with voice meter because they want to separate something like they don't want music in their in their recordings, which is pretty classic. Um, what I would suggest doing so you, with banana, you have two. First one, it's going to be game slash desktop. This is where your game audio is going to go. The way you get your game audio to go here is simply by you can just reopen this box simply by going to the playback tab, going all the way to the bottom. And if you just have banana, not potato, you're just gonna it's gonna look like this. Select voice meter input, set default. Do not have a green telephone thing here unless you know what it means. I know what it means, so I'm gonna keep it there. But for if you don't, then just press set default so it has no other green things anywhere else except for this one. Okay. That means your game audio will default here. Anything will default there um, right away. So, for example, if I were to play music, you can see that it moved here. You guys can't hear it. You're only going to hear me for this portion. Um, so, yeah, you can see it moving there. I'll probably zoom in the recording, but it is here. Everything is here. So, if you want to separate music, I would suggest using the aux column. So, we'd call this, you could label it music, Spotify, whatever. Usually, most people will do Spotify slash like edge or chrome or whatever their browser is um so obviously if i play music it's still playing out of here just because i renamed this doesn't mean it's going to go there so the way to do that 
is we're going to type in mixer into the Windows search bar. Okay. And you're going to open this. So, and on Windows 11, it should also be like, you should be able to type that in. No problem. Uh, ignore this stuff. This is from previous setup. You don't have to touch that. We're going to find Spotify. We are going to change the output of Spotify. So the top one's the output. We're going to change that to voice meter aux. So we're going to find something that says voice meter aux and find it wherever it is. Here it is. So voice meter aux. Click that. Now, if I go back to Spotify and press play, you can see that now it has moved on to the other column, meaning I have control of it separately from my game audio. So that's big step completed there. If you want to do it for Edge or any other browser, you can do it in here. It's just more than likely it won't work. So I would highly suggest downloading something called Ear Trumpet from the Microsoft Store. It will look kind of like this and it will allow you to separate apps using this instead. Um, I would do that. I would do that for your browser if you want to separate it. Um, other thing that most people are going to separate, if this is all you want to do, then you're done. Cool. Or you're done for separating at least. But if you want to separate Discord, which I would highly suggest, um, you're going to have to go and download a virtual cable from the website. Hold on. Literally just type in virtual cable on Google and you will get the website. It pops up. Press download. If you want to know how to download the virtual cable, then look up a video on it. Frugal Streamer's got a good one. It's super easy, not hard at all. I'm not going to go through that. So, yeah. If you want to download the virtual cable, go get it. You can separate Discord here. So, mine's on cable A, but in your case, when you have the cable, it'll show up as a cable output here. Um, but, yeah. and now what I would do is go into discord and we're going to ignore this input, input part here, output device. We want the voices of people talking to me in discord, going from discord into this, uh, into the cable. And then that would re uh, transfer right into voice meter, which would show here since I selected the cable, as you can see, cable, cable. Um, so if I were to, is there anything I can test in here? Can I do this? Is that going to do in the, okay. I don't know. Either way, it'll, it'll play here. Okay. It'll go right here and you'll be able to move it around. So that's discord. That's how you would separate discord. Um, so yeah, now we got we got microphone, we got Discord, game slash desktop, Spotify slash Edge. That's usually uh, everything that anybody separates. So now we're done with that separating audio. We're going to uh, look at Shadowplay finally. Uh, so let's do that. So Shadowplay, you should be able to see this. Yep. Okay. Good. I'm gonna turn this off for now. We're going to come down to audio and here's where you make a decision. You either do create a single track or separate both tracks. So what this means is creating a single track. When you go back to watch the video or move the video into an editor, there's going to be one track of audio, meaning everything is combined into one. Like your microphone in the game is on one track. You can't mess with it like at all. Usually this is fine for people if they're not editing, they're just clipping to clip cool things that happened and they just want to watch it back and yeah, just save it on your computer somewhere. Separating both tracks. This is for people that want to edit and have their, uh, you can have two tracks. So you have two things that separated. Usually one of them is the game audio. Then the other one would be whatever you choose. Um, so for in my case, what I like doing is having my mic and discord audio on one track and then game audio all by itself on the second track. And that's usually how I rock that. Um, so first we'll do, we'll do single track. So if you were to do a single track, you'd click it. Um, 
single track, turn this all the way down to zero. Then we're going to choose this microphone here, voice meter aux output. Okay. And I'll show you what that is. So voice meter aux output looks familiar. I've seen that I've seen I've said that word before, but voice meter aux output is different from voice meter aux input. They're completely two different things. Voice meter aux output is a virtual microphone that you will see here pops up in Discord as a microphone. Um, here's one of them, and then here's the other one. So this one, voice meter output, is just B1. So right now, this is the microphone I'm using in OBS. So if I were to disable it, you can no longer hear me when I disabled it, as you can tell. Um, and this is the microphone I use in Discord. So B1, I'm just going to, you guys can use this for whatever you want. If you even want to route your mic through voice meter, I'm just going to say use B1 for only your microphone. Now, for shadow play, let's use B2, which is that voice meter aux output device that I said earlier. So we're going to use this. So select this here, volume 100%, boost, don't do that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to enable B2 on your microphone and enable B2 on, uh, actually, if you're doing single track, so we're doing single track right now. We're on single track. You're going to come in here and enable B2 ev on everything you want your shadow play recordings to pick up or any kind of, this goes for any software, OBS you could do this with. So if you want shadow play to pick up your microphone, Discord, friends and game audio then you would enable all three of those if you want spotify to show up in your recordings then you would enable b2 on that as well but if you don't then you don't have it enabled so yeah quick rundown i haven't talked about the a's but I, this isn't a tutorial on how to use voice meter but a1 is just what you hear in your headphones so more than likely, you're going to have this enabled everywhere except for your mic, unless you want to hear yourself, which is completely up to you. But A's are what you e you hear in your headphones. The B's are what other applications hear. Um, so yeah, this is how you do a single track. Pretty easy. Once you have everything separated, it's literally like two clicks and you're good to go. So that's single track on Shadow Play. Now, for the people that are wanting to do dual tracks and have separated audio with it when you move it into an editor or whatever, you're going to turn up system sounds to 100, okay? And we're going to keep the microphone the same. Let's go back out here. So what that's going to do is one track is going to be system sounds, which we already know what system sounds is. It's this right here, game slash desktop, because that is the default device of Windows. So that means the system sounds is going to pick up game audio or anything that routes into this column. So if I were to go open, uh, say if I went and downloaded Opera GX or any other browser I don't have and play a YouTube video, it's going to play out of here because I haven't told it where to go. So just be weary about that. Um, yeah, so make sure you have it separated first if you don't want it to show up in your recordings. So one track will be this. You don't even have to touch anything. You can leave, turn V2 off, have A1 on. This volume slider will not affect the volume of Shadowplay recordings um, for the game audio uh, on the dual track. On single track, it will. Either way, so now that you have this as one track, it's already picking it up by default. The second track is the microphone. So, and this is the same thing as we just did with the, uh, the single track uh, option. You just choose B2 on anything else you want to be on the, uh, the other track other than game audio. So for me, I would just enable B2 on my mic and Discord and call it good because I don't want Spotify in my recordings. So when you go to, uh, when you do one of these, let's see if I can find an example real quick. So here, give me a second. Okay, so here is an example of CSGO, pretty popular game. When you look at a recording in here, uh, if you're using, I think you can do this with anything you open it with. I opened it with Windows Movie and TV, pretty normal. I think everybody uses it. Um, you can click the subtitle thing in the bottom left and you can see that I recorded in two tracks, one being system sounds, one being microphone. So 
when you go back to watch your clips in in the dual track method for shadow play you have to choose which one you want to hear you can't hear both at the same time it's just the way that works you can only hear both at the same time if you move it into an editor um yeah uh actually i can show you an example so i go to move this into an editor okay you see that i have two tracks one being uh, i believe the top one is game audio so if i were to mute that or whatever you want to mute it then now it's just my voice it's my voice in discord because my voice in discord is sent through b2 into shadow play as my microphone I'm basically tricking it into thinking it's a microphone okay and then for single track it would just show one here just one um but i think that is it i can't think of anything else um yeah if you have any questions then just uh throw it in the comments i'll answer it uh or if there's any other tutorials i guess that i can do then just fire away but yeah thanks for watching